Welcome. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a cinematic movie within Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So before we open up Roblox Studio, you're going to need two plugins for this walkthrough. And first you're going to go to roblox.com, sign into your account, and then you can click on the Create tab. And once you click on Create, you're going to go to the Library tab. And within Library, you will click on Plugins. And then you'll be able to search for plugins that you can then install on your Roblox Studio. The first plugin you're going to need is Moon Animator. You can search for it in here and click on Search. Or if it's showing up for uh, plugins, you can find it. So here it's showing up as Moon Animator. You can click on that. And then once you see the Moon Animator, then you can install the plugin. And then this will work on your Roblox Studio. So then you'll notice that uh, it will open up Roblox Studio and tell you that your installation was complete. We also need another plugin. So go back to the Roblox Library tab here. So the next plugin you'll need is a plugin that will do a character insert. And you can just look up character insert and then press search. And what I like to do is then sort by best selling. And so that way you can see which ones are used the most. And so you could use the, the load character pro or the low character light, either one of those. Um, there's also one called character insert and that's the name of the plugin. I'm going to use the load character pro for this uh, walkthrough. And so once you get to the load character pro, you just click on install. And again, it'll give you the screen that tell you that it was installed correctly. Okay, in order to start making a cinematic movie, we're going to need to start a new game. And let's go ahead and start with just a flat terrain. And once your game loads, you're going to want to go up to plugins and make sure that your plugins are loaded correctly. So I've got Moon Animator and Load Character Pro there. I almost got the Load Character. That one also works. First, I need to load a character into the game so that I can start the animation through Moon Animator. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on Load Character Pro. And then right here, you can uh, enter the name of the character. So I'm going to look for my avatar. And so I've got one of the uh, default avatars that are given to you when you uh, start uh, on Roblox Studio. And so uh, whenever you get to this point, you can just uh, click on Spawn Origin if you'd like. I'm going to do the R6. OK, so I couldn't get my Load Character Pro to work correctly. Let's try the Load Character plugin. And again, it's kind of hard to see this, but it's the same thing. So you just go in the middle there and then look up your avatar. And once I find it, then I click on the uh, Spawn R6. And then you'll see it'll come up on the right hand side of the screen here on Explorer. And so I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on F uh, on the keyboard so I can find it. Okay, there it is. Um, so uh, I need to move it. So in order to move it, you have it selected and then go up to Home and then move. And then that way I can move it up here so that it's a little higher. I'm going to press F again. So now you can see it's uh, uh, where I need it to be for the animation. I also wanted to point out real quick that in addition to the character inserter plugins that I showed you, within Moon Animator, there's also a character inserter, which you could just click that and then go ahead and insert the character. Uh, and again, you can use either the R15 or the R6, either one. And so once it inserts, um, again, you can do the same thing. Click it on the right hand side, press F, and then you'll be able to find it on the map. So uh, again, those are a couple ways that you can insert the character into your game. So now that your character is inserted in the game, now comes the fun part in actually doing the animation through Moon Animator. And so uh, first thing you need to do is go up to the plugins and then click on Moon Animator. So you'll notice that you're able to see the Moon Animator pretty clearly. I want to point out real quick, if you're having any problems with the Moon Animator um, showing up too small, what you can do is click on the screen icon here. And so once you click on that, then uh, it will show you uh, different ways that you can view this. And you might have had this click before. So right now I've got HD and you can see the... Uh, uh, moon animator is really small so in order to change the size of that you can then click a uh, smaller uh, resolution uh, maybe something like this and then now the moon animator is a little larger to be seen and instead of fit to window you could do actual resolution and then that way you, you'd be able to actually see the moon animator and be able to um, uh, adjust it accordingly so now that i can see everything clearly you can see the moon animator will give you several options and the first thing you want to do is go to file and then click on new animation and so it's going to ask you uh, what the name of this animation is. And then this is just a folder basically to save uh, what you're going to do in this animation. You could do this with multiple objects in your game. But in this uh, walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to change the animation for one character. So, so this one, I'm going to show you how to make the character jump. So I'm going to call this one jumping. And then I'll just press on confirm. And so now, once you have the animation uh, saved and loaded, you'll notice that it brings up this option here. And real quick, just want to show you that if you haven't used Moon Animator before, the uh, what you're seeing is the progress of time through your animations. So each one of these numbers represents uh, doing something in time. I believe 300 uh, equals uh, 300 frames equals about five seconds. So just to give you an idea of how long it will take you and how many frames you might need uh, for your animation. 
So the first thing you want to do is select the object or part that you want to have animated. And in this one, you want to do is click the add icon here. And once you click on that, you will see that it kind of comes up here. There's not much you can do. You can't click around or anything. So what it's doing is it's add, asking you which item do you want to add. So in order to find your item, you want to go over to Explorer. And I want to add the Roblox Learner. And so there you go. Once I, I clicked on that, now you notice the add item uh, changed so that I can import the rig or the C-frame. Now the rig is the avatar itself, and the C-frame is actually the camera angle. So that's going to be important for your animation. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to include it. And so now I'm going to press on OK. And so now it brings up all the many options I can do for changing the animation. Now for this next part, what you probably want to do is uh, put this out of the way a little bit so that you can see your character uh, more clearly. And I'm just going to kind of change my camera angle here. And again, you can use your uh, the, the camera angles on your keyboard. So let's do something like this. So the first thing that you most likely want to do is change the position of the character. Now, whenever you start the animation, it's going to start in whatever position you have here. So right now, I actually want him to start in that position. That looks good. So what I need to do is then advance through time so that I can change the next uh, thing that the character will do. So now this can take a while, depending on what you're trying to have do. If you're trying to have the character walk, uh, a walking animation can take quite a while, as any uh, basically any animation is going to take you a while to set up because you're going to be uh, clicking through one part at a time. And let me show you what I mean. So as I click on the top here, this is showing me what frame I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and do a uh, frame right around 30 or so. And so now you can see all these things open up, and that's because I have the upper torso uh, selected. So let's go with uh, the torso. That actually sounds good. Uh, the to upper torso. So I'm going to click on that. You notice it's highlighted. And then now these are the areas where you can move now. So I'm going to go ahead and move the torso so that it faces uh, me a little more. And then let's do the uh, lower torso also. So I'm going to go ahead and actually let me go back to the upper torso and I'm going to try to line him back up again. Lower torso, that will move the entire uh, character. So now I've got the uh, torso there. And now I'm going to work with the arms. So I've got right upper arm. Again, you just click on any of these and you'll see which axis is moving the arm. And so I'm going to move the arm up. And then now I want to do this with the left arm. So to find the left arm, I just keep scrolling down, left arm. And then I do the same thing. I move it out and then in. And again, this again is the part that takes the most amount of time because you're moving a little bit out of time. And so now I've moved all of those. So each one of these blue triangles is showing me what I changed which e with each of those things. Okay. Um, if I pr press Control Z, that will undo my last thing. So if you do something you're not quite sure, if you like it, just press Control Z. You can also highlight the blue dot and then press Delete on your keyboard, and that will delete the entire thing. So um, let's go back to the animation here. And so I feel good about the arms. Now I'm going to go to the legs real quick. So same thing with the legs. So I just click on left upper leg, and then I just uh, move the axes the way I would like it. And now I'm going to do the right leg. Okay, so I've moved him a little bit. Now I need to move him a little more in time. So he's beginning to jump. And then now I'm going to move forward. And again, I'm going to take him from this position and do a different position. So I'm going to try uh, each of the things I've done so far. If you need to be able to see more here, you can come down to the bottom part and it will be able to uh, increase uh, you know, how much you see or decrease it so you can see further in time here. So I'm going to go in time again and uh, a little further ahead. And I'm going to go start with the, uh, let's go with the upper arm. And we're going to make the arm go larger, farther up. And then same thing with the left arm. I'm going to make this a really simple one so we're not here uh, watching me do this uh, too long. Uh, you can, again, this is just the, the concept so that you can uh, make this do exactly what you want it to do. And let's do that. And then let's do the legs. Okay, and if any time you want to see what your animation looks like, you can press File and Play. But what I like to do is just uh, press this. So you can see if I click on the top here, the, the block box comes up and I can just drag this and it will show me what the animation is looking like so far. So it's looking pretty good actually. So if I go up to file and then play, you can see it will play the entire animation to the last blue points that I have. Okay, so real quick, before I show you camera angles, I want to show you uh, how you can save this. So you go up to file and then you just want to go up to uh, save. And then that will save everything you've done so far. And if you ever want to open it again, you just open up uh, Moon Animator, you know, go to Plugins, Moon Animator, and then File, and then go to Open Animation, and it will show you the different files you have. So I'm gonna, I can press on Open, and then it will, jumping, and that will uh, go ahead and open that back up. So actually, I need to do that again, because I just uh, clicked out of that for some reason. So jumping, Open, and there we are. So we have the same animation we had before. I also want to show you how you can capture the screen. So in order to hide Moon Animator, you would press Control H. So now I've hit Moon Animator. And, and if I want to play my animation, I can just press the space bar. So Moon, Anima Moon Animator is still playing. I can press space bar. 
and you can see the animation goes. So the way you could do this is uh, basically hide the animator, press the space bar, and it will show the animator. And right now I haven't put the camera angles in, so it ha we haven't gotten that far yet. But uh, if you have a screen recording software, all you would have to do is just uh, do this, and then, then you can make a cutscene or any other kind of movie uh, with your uh, animate, you know, animation. So because once I press the space bar, the full animation will play. So let me show you how to put a camera angle in here so it makes it a little more interesting. So let's go back to Control H, and that brings my moon animator back. So in order to add a camera angle, uh, we have the C-frame there. Let's go ahead and just go up to camera and then add a camera. And then that way we have the field of view also. So we have the uh, C-frame and the field of view. And so in order to change this, what we need to do, I'm going to go to C-frame first. And actually, no, let's go to field of view. And then I'm going to just have field of view be right about there. And in order to set the field of view, I'm going to press equal. And then I'm going to move around a little bit. And then I'm going to go about here. And I'm going to press equal sign again. And then let's see, uh, and then in C-frame, I'm going to do a similar thing. So I'm going to move around some, and then I'm going to press the equal sign, and that will set it. And then now I'm going to go to right about here. Um, so I'm moving the camera angle with my you know, WASD on my keyboard. And let's go a little further away. That way you can see that this works. And I'm going to press equal sign, and that will set that C-frame. And so now when I go ahead and press play, You'll notice that see you'll notice my field of view is changing. So the camera angle is changing. That's because I had the field of view and the C frame changed at the same time. If you need to change any of this, uh, you can just click on one of them and then press delete on your keyboard, and that will make the last one go away. Uh, so let's go even further for, uh, further out. So I'm going to press S, and so I'm going really far far out with the with the C frame, and let's try it one more time. So S, and then I'm going to press the equal sign. And so now that the equal, oops, I didn't have it selected. So make sure you have C frame selected and then press equal sign. So now let's try this. So now it's, I'm going really far out with the animation. And again, I would just go to file and save. And again, uh, the last thing you can do is do control H that will hide moon animator. I'll press space bar. And now the animation has a camera angle built into it. If you would like to go around the character, you can bring back the uh, animator. And then let's say I wanted to move around. So I'm gonna take out the last one. And let's say I wanted to move behind the, the character. So I need to move forward. And then I need to uh, use my mouse. Uh, right click on your mouse and you can uh, move the camera angle there. Okay, and let's say I want to go behind. So now I'm going to go around the character. And let's say that sounds good. I'm going to press equal sign. C frame equal sign. And then now let's try the animation from the beginning. So you'll notice the camera angle is going behind the uh, character. So now you know how to pose the avatar in your movie as well as setting the camera angle uh, for your short movie. Now these concepts can be uh, worked with Moon Animator. You just keep saving as you go. And uh, if you want to save different versions, you can. You can save different versions uh, along the way just in case you uh, want to change something later. And the idea of this is that you can, again, press Control H, hide the Moon Animator, have a screen recording software, and then uh, press Space Bar, and then it will play your animation, and you can then record it. And then you could use that uh, you know, for a video that you uh, show your friends or put on YouTube. YouTube. You could also uh, put it as a video in your game, and then that could be uh, seen as a cutscene or something like that. So you now know how to make cinematic movies within Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.